Now that we understand the logical structure and we talked about fragmentation management, the next segment we're going to talk about is block corruption management. Because in the database, okay, it's uh, data that is written on the disk, therefore there are possibilities for corruption. So how many type of corruption do we have in our database? For that, let me go ahead and delete off a little bit of these row management down here to make a little room. Okay. So, as we said, Oracle uses a logical block. Okay. As we noticed, the logical block had the header and the body. In the body, we had our rows. And in the header, we had the pointers that show me where each row starts. And the rows are numbered when they go inside the block. So now, we have two type of corruptions that we must manage within our database. Number one, what if I have a physical problem on the disk? Let's say there's a bad sector on the disk, and we have written blocks on that sector. Now we want to read. Of course, the sector is bad, and we cannot read the block. Therefore, we must be able to manage these logical corruptions, and excuse me, the physical corruption. Because if I have a corruption of the disk,